Thanks, Glenn, for recording, and thank you, everyone, for uh, coming to the Friday Experiment. Uh, we're going to do a round um, together on what we think the greatest challenges to the world today are. Um, and I open the floor. Stacy. Okay. Well, I just want to say that before, right before we started recording, somebody had uh, asked a question, and before they asked it, I hadn't even thought of the same purpose as apparently you and Doug were thinking about for the reason for doing this. So I was just going to answer this question for the people that were watching now, which was, where you know why do you know why what do I want to contribute to GCC? I think that was part of it. What what's my intention and what was the other part? The first one is, what do you think the challenges are in the world today that we're facing? The second is, are there any projects or interventions? Um, do you have a vision for how things can work better collectively or specific interventions, ideas and projects that you think can affect important change? Okay. And then okay. Okay. the third is, how do you see yourself contributing uh, or participating? So we're on number one, which is, uh, okay. what, uh, what are the greatest challenges facing humanity today from your perspective? So for, me, so for me, the biggest challenge is that missing link, that missing piece. So um, what I'd like to do and how I think that I can contribute is to help bring similar projects and people together so that we can work smarter, more effectively, communicate better, which goes into the last part of the question is how do I think I can help? And that's, I think I can aid in helping to teach better um, and more effective communication skills. And with that, I'm complete. Yeah, similar, similar sort of scenario here. This is something I brought up yesterday, so I'll continue from there. Is our lack of cohesion worldwide and our, all our, kind of, it still kind of feels like feudal kingdoms, even though we call them countries, and we're all still competing with each other, rather than coming together, um, especially at the United Nations level. I just read this morning that, um, that um, the United States has vetoed another vote in favor of somebody else. So this kind of thing of favoritism and little, little groups of protectionism forming. We really need to have a look at that. And uh, how do we solve this? Well, I always was under the impression that if we have a lot of dialogue and we really begin to understand each other at a deeper level, maybe we can move forward. I'm beginning to have doubts on that and we will reach a certain plateau and then we seem to just sit there. I'm complete for now. Thank you. Thank you, Jaswinder. Thanks, Stacey. I can give it a shot. Well, what are the biggest challenges? It, when Stacey said, she said, it's the missing link. It really, that, that somehow really struck me. Uh, the biggest challenge is this missing link. Very interesting. I never thought of it like this before, but that really sounded true to me that there's, there's something specific that's missing somehow in, in the current cultural uh, thing. And uh, it, it has something to do with a different kind of conversation where we grow our knowledge together um, and uh, our, you know, connection and understanding, uh, so, so many things at once. Um, the biggest challenges in the world, they all seem to be psychological, one way or another. Uh, of course, when I'm saying psychological, I'm also including things like being, behavior, actions, and tap habits, uh, the emotional, the mental. So obviously it's, it's a big field. 
it's it's sort of the the big field of psychology of the mind and the being of human beings so that's maybe another way of, of describing it the, the being of human beings the, the being level I, I also really like the behavioral lens uh, sometimes we hear consciousness mentioned and then there's obviously even more specifically uh, kinds of ideas and ways of thinking uh, collectively shared mimetic structures worldviews etc including many of those who have what you call false dualities which seem to have a tendency to create conflicts between people that are artificial so it's obviously a big field but all of the big challenges seem related to it the psychology and, and being factor one way or another so that's obviously also where where things could be transformed i think Thank you, Glenn. Eric. Yeah, hi. So this may not be the biggest problem and we may not have to look at the biggest problem yet, uh, but I'm gonna address technology. And uh, the fact that we're able to see each other right now is a miracle that we're not used to yet. <laughs> we're we're the, just learning about it and learning how to use this technology to interact. And um, there's a change coming where we're trying to make it more personalized, where you're in control of your data and who sees it and who you share it with, and you have more privacy than these corporate conglomerates right now give you. So um, to make that happen, it's going to require a shift in mentality uh, and uh, really a movement to insist that these values be baked into the technology to prevent the corporations from usurping it in the future. I'll complete. Thank you, Eric. Thies, uh, you're muted. I can talk now. Uh, I think the biggest challenge is just biosphere awareness, just as so Alan Watts, Alan Watts, I don't know if, he, if I speak it correctly, he is an ant specialist, but ants only know each other, humans only know each other, we're talking about inner human problems, but actually we are missing out the biosphere. So even Socrates was brought to a nice tree outside town, I said, what is the use of a tree? So. So it's a deeply cultural uh, problem that we are not related to the biosphere so closely anymore as the indigenous people in Brazil in the Amazonian would. So in a permaculture, it's different. You are completely surrounded by the nature until you pick up nature. So that's the uh, biggest problem would be biosphere awareness. Thank you. Um, Srinivas, Doug? Uh, I think Srinivas is just uh, observing for today. Doug, do you want to jump in? Sure. I was just scribing, so I wanted to stay in that mode if that was coming. <laughs> um, I think um, I'm sort of in the same neighborhood as Glenn. Um, the, 
the sort of idea of personal relativity um, that I as an individual agent am the God of my existence and uh, the receiver of my perceptual experience of my, the world around me. And, and there are 8 billion odd others similarly situated. And um, my subjective ownership of my perception of the world, connection to the world, um, feeling into the world, um, is a unity thing, not a dual, dualistic thing. And the same applies for every other human being on the planet. And for that matter, every other living thing on the planet. And so I, I sort of see that as square one, um, as, as the fundamental, getting back to that fundamental, starting at the beginning from there. And um, and figuring out um, how to awaken, empower, and franchise, going to Eric's point about agency, um, every man, woman, and child on the planet to their authority, their self-empowerment, their ability to contribute affect, and the level of how they contribute and affect, um, whether conscious of their impact or not. Um, so that's, so, and, and built into that is thesis, which is uh, fully embodied, fully aware, fully empowered, and fully um, connected, uh, brings all of that um consciousness of place in the world place in the living biome connection with the world and the living biome um, being part of so yeah so that's that's it for me thanks doug i kind of feel like this question is that that uh that everyone's feeling a part of the elephant kind of question. Um, <laughs> I love that image of, of understanding complexity. And I think for me, the, the greatest challenge is to be able to understand and communicate in right action, in right order in right circumstance how to how to to support the transformation of systems how to really understand what's going on in simple language so that other people can understand and resonate with it such that we can understand how to move forward together um so yeah it's it's understanding and then also being able to communicate collectively so that's how i would kind of put my finger on my little toe of that elephant while recognizing that that's kind of the entry point into the problem itself and i i really value hearing each person's perspective on that because this is this is how we uh, action, take action towards uh, being able to solve that is by reflecting together, talking together, and really taking on board other people's perspectives. It was a great journey. So thanks, everyone. Glenn, you can, you can stop recording now.